When we use decimals, you can think of one whole divided into ten parts. They're tenths. Or if you divide into one hundred parts, these are hundredths. So, how do we write them? <coughs> Say hello to the decimal point. We place digits to the left or right of the decimal point, depending on their value. On the left are our tens and ones, and on the right are our tenths. Here she is. Ah, oh, isn't she sweet? When the tenths get up to nine, we need the ones. Now, what about the hundredths? Ah, isn't he cute? So, now we've got the tens and ones on one side of the decimal point, and the little tenths and hundredths on the other. Ah, one big happy family. Hello, I'm Mr McPartlin, and together we are going to learn how to add three one-digit numbers together. Adding three one-digit numbers, I hear you say, I only normally add two together. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. I'm here to give you a really handy hint for how you can add the three numbers together quickly and easily. The trick is to look for the number bonds to 10 first. Let's take a closer look. I'm sure all of you are superstars when it comes to number bonds. So now it's time to be a detective to search for them in this number sentence. Let's try three, add four, add seven. Hmm, can you spot which two numbers are number bonds to ten? They might not be next to each other, remember? Aha! Found them! Three and seven make ten. If we add them together first, then all we have left to do is to add ten and four. Ten add four equals fourteen. Brilliant detective work there. Let's try another one. Start hunting for the number bonds. This time we have two plus eight plus seven. Have you noticed which two numbers create a number bond to 10? There they are, two and eight. Now, they can be added to make 10. That leaves us with 10 add seven, which is 17. Well done, detectives. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a sum which has two answers. One answer will be on the left hand side of your screen and the other will be on the right hand side of the screen. You need to use your number bond detective work to work out which answer is correct. If you need some scrap paper and a pencil, pause the video to get some. If you can work out the answers in your head, that is brilliant. Okay, let's go. Is six, add four, add three, 13 or 14? Remember to find the number bonds first and then add the last number. It's 13. Well done if that was your answer. Don't worry if not though. You can add six and four together to make 10 first, then add three, which makes 13. Let's try another one. Does five plus six plus five equal 11 or 16? Let's get searching for the number bonds to help us. The answer is... 16. The two number bonds are five and five. Then if you add six, you reach 16. I told you that adding three one digit numbers didn't have to be hard. Now, 